As we recognize American Heart Month, while doctors say adults have improved at limiting risk factors, they predict that we could see a spike in premature heart attacks. That's because of a growing trend among teens, and it deals with vaping. And we've talked a lot about vaping we here have. on ABC 15 Mornings, but our Nohelani Graf is joining us in studio this morning talking about vaping, and could this really lead to heart attacks? I know it sounds crazy, right? But there's while there's not a clear line just yet, we know the risk factors. They are obesity, genetics, high blood pressure and that tobacco abuse. And that's where the problem is here. Dr. Timothy Byrne is an interventional cardiologist with the Brazo, Arizona Heart Hospital. He says there are 6 million kids under the age of 18 who smoke and are expected to die before their time as young adults. The CDC then adds 42% of kids have vaped or at least tried vaping in high school. So Dr. Byrne says even in those smaller amounts, the number of teens ingesting nicotine through vaping is skyrocketing and with it, so are their risk factors, which can lead to a stroke or heart attack. That's a very high concentrated, very addictive nicotine intake. And that nicotine drug, it is a drug that clamps down the coronary arteries and the blood vessels and can be very dangerous. So during a cardiac arrest, whether it's an adult or a child, seconds matter. A lot of schools and offices have a defibrillator, an AED, so you want to learn how to use it. Open it up, take a look, turn it on. It has pictures, and once you get it going, it will literally talk you through the process. The main thing, be patient, calm, and also confident. Yeah, those are keys, especially the being calm part because it's already a tense situation. Yeah, and it might be worth grabbing the one that at your office too, right? Just to take a look at take it so you can familiarize yourself. Yes. All right, no, hey, thank you very Good much. Yes, absolutely. Good advice.